it's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest Studios, where Eric Holder is watching us from across the street, it's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, smile for the missile, it's Ben Crystal. I <laughs> just hope the drone can get my good side. All right, I don't have a good side. <laughs> Senator Rand Paul filibustered the nomination to CIA director of John Brennan over accomplished General Eric Holder's statements regarding Obama's right to assassinate Americans with drones, prompting Obama to immediately ask Holder, are, are you sure we can't just get like one UAV inside the Capitol? Just <laughs> The death of dictator Hugo Chavez made waves worldwide in Hollywood. Tragedy narrowly averted when first responders got Sean Penn's belt and shoelaces away from him. <laughs> ah, yeah, save Sean Penn. Lucky. <laughs> Hello, I'm Barack Obama. Joining me today to talk about the benefits of socialized medicine, my pal, Hugo Chavez. <laughs> you don't look so... Death panels. <laughs> A huge swarm of locusts is spreading devastation across the Holy Land. In other signs, the apocalypse approacheth. <laughs> Cat flies. A Maryland seven-year-old was suspended from school after allegedly biting a Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun. The school cited a violation of their ban on assault pastries. <laughs> that thing was loaded with strawberry goodness. <laughs> Elsewhere in <clears throat> education, Democrat incubator Oberlin College locked down its campus after someone in a blanket was mistaken for a member of the KKK. Have you seen this man? <laughs> if so, call campus security immediately. Or Charlie Brown. <laughs> Among the women being honored by Michelle Obama and John Kerry as an international woman of courage, Samira Ibrahim, who's also known for her support of Islamofascist terrorism, and Hitler. The First Lady explained, oh, only because Ava Braun wasn't available. <laughs> and despite Obama's hysterical warnings about sequester, he and Michelle are already planning their next Martha's Vineyard vacation. But they want the public to know they're feeling the pinch too, so Oprah will be picking up her own tab. <laughs> Sacrifice. And that's your grade eight for the week, kiddies, for the Personal Liberty Digest. I'm Ben Crystal saying, buy a Conel Diablo, Ugo.